For Jeremiah family, we want to welcome you to our Sunday school uh, for July 5th. Uh, so grateful and thankful to have Reverend Croft and Sister Carter with us uh, on this morning uh, to lead us in our studies. Uh, get your book, uh, get your mind ready <laughs> as we get ready to get into the Word. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for your goodness and for your grace. Bless us now as we share in your word. We thank you, God. You brought us from last week to this week. You gave us another opportunity and another chance to praise your holy name. Bless our time of study now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Reverend Croft is going to be leading us in our Sunday school for this morning. So let's say amen for Reverend Crow. Amen for Reverend Crow. Good to have good a good back. Morning. Yes. So good to be back, Pastor. Good. It's good to see you guys. Uh, today is July 5th, and the Bible study guide is 5, and the theme is Wisdom's Vindication. Mm -hmm. And the Bible background will be coming from Matthews 11, 1 through 19, and the printed text is Matthews 11, 7 through 19. Then our devotional readings will be coming from Matthew 10, 1 through 14. And our aim for change is by the end of the lesson, we will explain how the different actions of Jesus and John the Baptist both display divine wisdom. Mm. Feel encouraged to be had in ways that follow Jesus, even when they are contrary to people's expectations, mm -hmm. and review our own behavior to determine whether it reflects godly wisdom. Amen. Amen. Sister Carter, you will read the In Focus. The In Focus for this morning is as follows. When Janice entered the employee's lounge, she found Diane, Holly, and Anitra already there. She went to the staff lounge and poured herself a cup as the others discussed Rachel, the new supervisor. Rachel joined only six months ago after Catherine left. Janice tried to stay out of office gossip, so she sat down, sipped her coffee, and opened her Bible to do a little study. But she couldn't help but overhear her co-workers making uh, one put, I'm sorry, making one put down after another about Rachel's demeanor and competence. Mm -hmm. She decided to speak up. What's so bad about Rachel? Diane said, she comes here acting like she's our friend, but when I asked her for last Friday off, she gave me nothing but static. Come on, Diane, Janice said. You know the last Friday of the month is crunch time. You have been here long enough to know no one is going to get that day off, especially after Kathleen let Holly and Anitra out on the same day last quarter. It's not like Catherine was any prize. Holly chimed in. She didn't know how to speak to people, calling me by names, like she's my girlfriend. Expirating, Janice said. Wait a minute, just what do you want? Someone to be mean and boss us around and yell at us? Rachel is our supervisor, and we should respect that. Then Janice went back to work. Spreading, uh, spreading gossip reflects poorly on people who spread it. How do we close our ears and heart to it when it is spread? When do we speak up? Mm. A good question. Good question. Yes. Good question. It's a good question. It actually is a wise question. It's a question with 
Because what we see here is something that we see all the time in our offices and at work. There's always a group who's finding something negative to yes. complain about. That's right. Now the supervisor is doing her job, so they need to try to use enough wisdom to understand. If she says no, right. they need to have enough wisdom to understand why it's no. Mm -hmm. So what we see here is you can be foolish when you start thinking about a lot of negative things mm. and pending a lot of nonsense things. That's right. And we know they are bad supervisors. That's right. That's right. We're not saying that. But you need to have enough wisdom to know when the supervisor is doing her job and that's not take it personally and not just be a gossip. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. And I would even say, uh, Sister Carter, um, that spreading gossip reflects poorly on the people who spread it. Sometimes you can't entertain foolishness and entertain right. that gospel. Right. And and just like in our our our, our lesson, um, you gotta have somebody that's willing to nip it in the bud. Uh -huh. so, to nip and it in know the bud. how to do it right in a wise and loving way. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And if those <clears throat> ladies were kind of on the foolish side, Pastor, you remember we had another lesson that you really can't, it's hard to tell foolish people anything anyway. They want to the, they, they <laughs> they 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 accept it. But a wise person yes. understands and accepts constructive criticism Amen. and wise Amen. advice. Amen. You know, God, he wants us to be wise. That's right. Mm -hmm. he yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. In, in, in wisdom. That's a great gift from God. It's the, yes, God. It is. It's the wisdom. It, it is. Two, it's from God. Two types of people. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, you have the foolish mm -hmm. and you have the wise one. That's right. The lady wisdom. Amen. 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 And Miss Polly. Miss Polly. Amen. Come on Amen. now. Amen. Okay. Go ahead. Amen. Uh, Pastor. All right. Our focal verses. Uh, keep in mind, verse. Uh, the Son of Man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks, and you say he's a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and other sinners. But wisdom is shown to be right by its results. <coughs> Our verses is found in Matthew chapter 11, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. As his disciples were leaving, Jesus began talking about him to the crowds. What kind of man did you go into the wilderness to see? Was he a weak reed swayed by every breath of wind? Or were you expecting to see a man dressed in expensive clothes? No, people with expensive clothes live in palaces. Were you looking for a prophet? Yes, and he is more than a prophet. John is the man to whom the scripture refers when they say, look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you and he will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth, of all who have ever lived, none is greater than John the Baptist. Yet even the least person in the kingdom of heaven <coughs> is greater than he. And from that the time John and from the time John the Baptist began preaching until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advanced, and violent people are attacking it. For before John came, all the prophets and the law of Moses look forward to this present time and if you are willing to accept what I say he is Elijah the one the prophet said would come anyone with ears let him hear should listen and understand to what can I compare this generation it's like children playing a game in the public square they complain to their friends we play weddings, we played wedding songs and you did not dance. We played funeral songs and you did not mourn. For John did not spend his time eating and drinking 
and you say he's a demon, he's possessed by a demon. Mm, yeah, Verse 19, yeah. the son of man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks. Yes. And you say he's a glutton and a drunkard mm -hmm. and a friend of tax collector and other sinners. But wisdom is shown to be right by its results. Amen. Amen. The word Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. You're welcome. And the people's places and time is John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin. John the Baptist preached a message of repentance. Mm -hmm. And John was called to be a spokesman for God's truth. But by living in the wilderness, he kept himself apart from the daily distraction of others and devoted himself to prayer and meditation. And when he came out among the crowds to deliver his message, those who heard him were memorized by his words. Mm -hmm. John was careful not to draw attention to himself, a temptation that would compromise lesser men. He kept his attention focused on his mission to announce the coming of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Background. The background by the end by this by, by the time we reach Matthew 11 Jesus has just told his disciples to go first among the Jewish people preaching the coming of the kingdom of heaven one recurring theme in the Gospels however is the hardness of the heart of the people who hear the good news of Christ's coming an outrage similar to what Isaiah experienced in his prophetic ministry. When Jesus uttered the words of Matthew 11, 7 through 19 to the crowd, he does so immediately after responding to John's inquiry about his identity. At this point, John the Baptist is in prison and he sends a disciple to ask Christ whether he is, and he said, as it was, whether he is the Messiah. Jesus responds by saying that he is the fulfillment of Isaiah 35, 5, and 6, which is as close to an affirmation, affirmative response as John is going to get. Jesus then proceeds to discuss the relationship between his and John the Baptist's ministry, explaining John's role as the forerunner of the Messiah. All of this takes place to reshape the people's view of what kind of Messiah they ought to expect. Many, especially those associated with the Zealot political problem, party, expected the Messiah to be a military hero, ready and willing to violently free God's people from oppression. Jesus in his ministry continually subserves such expectations. Amen. 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 They had an expectation of what the Messiah was going to be. But uh -huh. Jesus said, I'm not what you expected me to be. I'm who God made me to be. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Amen. And he distinguished his ministry from John's yes. ministry. That's good. John had a ministry. They didn't have the same ministry. That's right. They understood some of the people were talking about Jesus' ministry and how it was. They didn't like it, John's, and how his was. They didn't really like it. Right. But then Jesus is explaining to them that they have different ministries. Mm -hmm. Yes. John had a ministry ahead of him. Right. To open the door. He was the, what, the, what forerunner. the forerunner. That's it. For him. But then he had a different ministry. Right. So they they, they really kind of just complaining about the ministries. They don't really like they really don't like what they're doing as far as I can <laughs> understand. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. as we get down to that first point, I think we can probably get get more uh, some more to talk about with that. Good, yeah. good. Yes, because in the aim for change to say that John the Baptist both both Jesus and John they both had um, that divine wisdom. They right. Both they did. Divine, right. Divine, exactly. Divine wisdom. Mm -hmm. John was the forerunner mm -hmm. right, to announce the coming mm -hmm. of Jesus and to have them to repent from their sin. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like to use an analogy of when, when I talk about John the Baptist and Jesus, 
Uh, John is the halfback, and Jesus is the fullback. The halfback run through the hole to open yes. it up, so the fullback can run through can it. Get through. So, so, so good point. So, <laughs> <laughs> good, good point. Good point. The football term. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay bye. Now the at a glance is we have two at a glance um, outlining. Okay. Uh, the one is. What did you expect in Matthew 11, 7 through 11? Mm -hmm. And the second outline is rebellions breeds foolishness, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 19. Good. And um, I read the in the in that here, the first in that. Okay. Okay, it says, in the in that, what did you expect? Matthew 11, 7 through 11. In John the Baptist, the crowd might have been looking for a physical imposing well-dressed man but after all he was said to be a prophet of god even elijah the one who would hurl the coming messiah but such is not the way of the biblical prophets whether one thinks of isaiah ezekiel jeremiah amos jose or any of the other biblical prophets they did not come with luxury but with lives of difficulty. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus reminded the people that John the Baptist is no different. Instead, John is the last of the long line of the biblical prophets upon whom the Spirit rested. Mm -hmm. But only for a time, the astonished turn in the second half of verse 11, when Jesus says, the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John. Mm -hmm. And the Christian's believer is greater than the last of the great biblical prophets. Indeed, we are because the Holy Spirit does not rest upon the one who is united to Christ for only a short time. But by the instrument of faith, the Holy Spirit indwells the believer inaugurating a relationship with God, the likes of which had never been seen before. When have you met someone and been surprised when you found out their occupations? When have you met someone and been surprised that they were a fellow believer? Mm, good. Okay. That's good. That's good. I, I would say most of the time when it's finding out their occupation, uh, Sometimes it's unassuming and it depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remember I, I ran into one guy. Uh, I think we were out. We were, at the gas, we were at the gas station. And then I saw him in the hospital and he was a doctor. And, but in the, and when I seen him at the gas station, he was like an ordinary dude. Yes. He, was like, he, he was like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, and I was surprised to see him in the hospital, like uh, it didn't match when, right. I, when I saw him outside of the hospital. But when it comes down to a fellow believer, sometimes when you see them, you ought to be able to see that light. And only way you don't know that it's something different is if they're not letting their light shine. That's you know, you know. If I may, mm -hmm. this is how the crowd looked at it. John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, Jesus says, oh, oh, well, what did you what expect? Did you right. You know, because of, you know, you're the, the, supposed to be the man of the prophet, but then you go into the wilderness and you you distance yourself, you know. Uh, I can understand that. That's a good point there. I love that. You know, <laughs> social, you know, distant yourself, you social know, away distant. from the crowd and spending time with God and then coming out and the way he was looking. So this is not mm -hmm. a problem looking at, at John. Right, right, you right. You know, right. what God told him, you know, you know, then none of them come in, in, in luxury, you know. Right. None of none of the prophets did. None of the prophets did. Yeah. Hey, right. None of the prophets came in luxury, you know. Um, so but we ought to just, you know, with that said, we ought to seek God because God is good. And right, and not because of, you know, his messenger, like with the flashiness and whatnot. Right, like right, that. right. You know, because God is good. Right. You know. And, and, and another thing, when you think about the, uh, when you think of think about the prophets, um, and I, and I always like to share the prophet was different than the priest. Mm -hmm. The priest had a uniform. Mm -hmm. the prophet didn't have a uniform. 
priest was stationary. The prophet went where God wanted him to go. So the prophet um, always spoke to the power that be on behalf of God telling them to correct something. Whereas the priest were always instructing the people on how to get closer to God. Right. So I, 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 when, we, when we look at the function of the prophet, um, I think it's very important that, that Jesus says, because see, they're looking for Elijah. Mm -hmm. And remember, he got caught up in the whirlwind. Yes. yes. So, yes. so they're looking yes. for a whirlwind. They're looking yes. for the spectacular to happen. Yes. But here's John uh, eating locusts and wild honey. Right. That's right. <laughs> right. I'm in the wilderness. Right. And wearing, what was it? Yeah, Can, camera, right. camera, 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 camera. So, yeah. so he didn't look the part. There you go. Right. According to the way. Absolutely. According to the way they were looking at. Yes. They were looking at. You should look your part. If right. he's a prophet of God, you like you say, look. you should be out of the wilderness you should be spending more time with the people you should be dressed better yes. you know you should present yourself better right but then this is why it says this 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 subject is talking about wisdom vindicated that's it see the way they're looking at it what he was doing wasn't even wise but they're going to find out in the Later end on. that <laughs> that wisdom, because of the results, mm -hmm. was a justifiable mm -hmm. kind of wisdom. Right, right. And it was the same with Jesus. They looked at Jesus the, they looked at Jesus the same Absolutely. way. That's right. That's good. They didn't think he should be hanging out with right, uh, right. the sinners. The sinners. The sinners. Right. And Jesus, Jesus told them right away, those are the people who need him. That's right. That was not wise to them what Jesus was doing. But Jesus had them to know mm -hmm. with the results mm -hmm. is going to show Come on now. that it's going to be that it's going to be that it's going to be wisdom. That's right. And, and, so it's, it's go ahead. I was going to say and here's another thing that we, I always like how scripture helps us look at this. Uh, man always looks on the outer uh -huh. man. Yes. That's right. But yes. God right. he looks at the heart. Yes. He looks at the inner. Yes. And so when we're, Jesus is really bringing that to life saying, you you judging how one does this uh -huh. versus how one does this. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to say who the prophet is and who it is. But you got to let God choose and let God uh -huh. do his work. And you know, how that should be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how that coming is through by wisdom. Yeah, making that's the right it choices. Mm -hmm. that's, it's, it that's is right. making the right choices. That's right. That's right. You know? that's right. Because yeah. your ministry may need you to do one thing, mm -hmm. looking at the comparison, John and Jesus. Right. And your ministry calls for a different kind, another wisdom. That's it's right. all that's wisdom, so but it's not the same mm -hmm. decision. That's, that's right. right. Yes. It's not the same kind of planning. That's and, right. And uh, uh, making decisions. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 li I like to say it like this. We may not have the same ministry, but we on the same team. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it all with the, with the body of Christ. That's it. That's you know, it. That's it. it. And you do what make your ministry work the best. Right. right. And you do what make your ministry absolutely. work the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Might be different. Amen. But if you do it right and it comes from God, Come on, it'll man. show wisdom. It'll show wisdom that God has given you the wisdom to do what you need to do. Amen. God has given me the wisdom to do. Amen. That's what words, I need to do. Amen. In other words, be the best that God has called you to mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, well, what, what He gave uh, you. Well, what He gave. What He gave. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 use it for His glory. That's it. That's yes. it. Use it for oh, yes. God's glory. That's it. A, amen. Uh, amen. And you know, Sister Carter, you know, I'm going to touch back on what you was speaking of the difference between John and and uh, um, John the Baptist and, and Jesus, Jesus, how they didn't accept him. They did not even accept Jesus. Right. Oh, they definitely they didn't accept Jesus. Right. We right. just That's had right. them kind of, so it wasn't just John the Baptist that they did not accept. It's, it's mm -hmm. both they didn't of them. accept Jesus mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. It's the both of them. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. amen. So now, um, yeah, this is real good. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the, the first outline here, it, you know, uh, it was saying that um, as John decided, pretty much we touched up on that, but there are some more things that I would like to add on to that. 
and that in the light of John's question, John may have questioned his commitment going until when Jesus was leaving, when the disciples were leaving and Jesus was speaking with the, to the disciples on behalf of John. Mm -hmm. It says that the, the Messiah says that this may have been prompted to Jesus support a statement about, about John when they asked the question here about uh, uh, what kind of man did you go into the wilderness to see? Was he a weak, a weak reed? Mm -hmm. A weak reed swayed by every breath of the wind? Uh, what did you expect? What did you expect? Mm -hmm. What did you expect? You know, right. it, it, he was not a weak, John was not a weak man. He was no. not going to sway. He was not going to be able to easily sway him. But yeah, that one sir. Absolutely. <laughs> repent. That, that one sin exactly mm -hmm. is to repent. And that is what, that should be the focus on that right there. Mm -hmm. It's not about what I wear. Mm -hmm. It's not about how I speak. Right. It's not about what I have. Right. You know, it's one purpose and one purpose only. Preach. Repent. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Amen. Amen. That's right. And um, could I say that last question that when Jesus was asking them what kind of man, who were you looking for, what kind of man were you looking for, mm -hmm. he asked them a question in verse 9 where he said, were you looking for a prophet? And yes. Jesus, like Jesus answers his own question, he said, yes. yes. And he is more than oh, just a prophet. A, yeah, that's it, that's yeah, it. it says the crowd might have been looking for a well-dressed man, mm -hmm. but after all, he was said to be a prophet of God, and even Isaiah... Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Amos, but they did not come with Great luxury perfect. once again. But then it said the people that John the Baptist, he said it was no difference, Sister Carter, what you were saying. And he said that, yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, he is more than a prophet. And this is the one about whom it is written mm -hmm. in the book of Malachi, right. where it said, Behold, right. in Malachi 3 1, Behold, mm -hmm. I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before you. He says, I will send my messenger ahead, you know. So he's like, he's more than just a... He's more than. He's more than. He's more than. And, and, and when we look at that, it's, it's very important to understand why Jesus is saying that. Because of the special relationship that John has in being the one who announces the Messiah. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the forerunner. Yes. You know, he, he's the one that says, I'm not worthy. There's one coming after me. I'm not worthy to tie to, 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 to shoes, to unlatch right. his shoes. Yes, sir. That's so right. he, he, John understood his role. He understood his position, but he only understood it from what God showed him. John didn't know what Jesus said, remember, John's disciples was gone. Right. John is in jail. Right. And listen to what Jesus said about John while they're out of Jesus' presence. John is, is greater than all the prophets. Greater. You know, um, a pastor in, in verse 11 here in the NLT say that, I tell you the truth of all who have ever lived, none is greater than John the Baptist, yet even the least person in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. Look at no that. man ever mm -hmm. fulfilled his God-given purpose. Mm -hmm. Be better than John. That's right. That's what the Bible, the word says. Mm -hmm. But it says, yet in God's coming, all members, meaning that question there, we would have a greater spiritual heritage mm -hmm. we should than John. We yes. should shout Amen. about that. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's because as great as John was, and excuse me, I, I'll let you finish, but as great as John was, we ought to be shouting Amen. Than John. Amen. Yes, Amen. Sir. That's what he said. But they mm -hmm. would have been, and, and the reason for that is that that we would have seen and known Christ mm. and his finished work on the cross. Yes. That's right. That's yes. where that, you know, was yeah. like, you yes. know, the least is one. Yeah. You know, he's a, yes, John the Baptist is the greatest. He's the greatest man ever fulfilled in God. But then in the the kingdom he speak about, you know, the least one that's mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. It's great. Jesus, yeah. great. Yes. Yeah. Jesus always, when he talks about the kingdom, helps us to get a clear understanding who's great in the kingdom and who's not great in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, if you want to be chief, you got to serve. Yes. yes you, got, you got to yes, be a servant. Yes. 
and, 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 and that's who's great in the kingdom right. of heaven. So he's looking at John. John, like you said, he didn't see the finished work. No, he saw uh -huh. the beginning work. Yes, but yes. those that see the finished work Hallelujah. of, of, of Hallelujah. the death, burial, and resurrection. Yes, yes, God. We, yes, we, God. we, we got a greater, greater. Hallelujah. Because we got a greater we responsibility. Absolutely. Yes. John, John called them to repentance. Yes. Yes. We call it to redemption. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> ah, that's it. That's it. That's it. There's many of chiefs. There's many of chiefs, but they don't want to serve. That's it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they sir. even compared uh, John the Baptist with Moses when you were talking about he did not get to see. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, oh, the finish, that's good. The finish, the finish, the finish yes. work. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Moses yes. did great work. He was yes. a great leader, but mm -hmm. he got down to the promised land. But he, he didn't, didn't make it in. He saw it. He didn't get over there. So he didn't get a chance to wow. enjoy what the others. Mm -hmm. He was so close. Same thing. thing. He could just look mm -hmm. over there. That's right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a comparison I would saw yes. in the back somewhere. Amen. Um, going to the second outline, um, rebellion, grief, foolishness. If I may have a volunteer to read the in depth. Okay, I'll read that. Uh, here Jesus revealed that John indeed came in the spirit of the foretold Elijah, predicted by the prophets. But Jesus also chides the people for not giving him the respect that he deserves as a messenger of God's word. The final two verses bring this critique to a head. The people critique John for his fasting, both from normal food and from alcohol, saying that he was possessed by a demon. John called for austerity and repentance and rubbed them the wrong, rub, rubbed them the wrong way. But when Jesus came welcoming sinners, eating and drinking with them, he was critiqued for the company he kept. In short, there are some people who will criticize you no matter what Jesus. you do. Jesus. What is most important is that you are faithful to the Lord Amen. in the midst of your situation. Hallelujah. Both John and Jesus were messengers of the word who were not discouraged by the rebellion of their hearers. Have you ever been frustrated by someone not understanding you? How did you address that frustration? Frustration. Pastor, uh, Pastor that's your, that's, that sound yeah. like your question. Yeah, no, that's right up my Pastor, head. that sound like your question. You know what, yes, for Pastor, do with anybody that's uh, confessed the Christ of Jesus mm -hmm. are going to be challenged. Yeah, you, you're going to be challenged. You know, judge. Oh, my God. Go on, Pastor. I, I, I would say I like this question because it really speaks to the heart of John and Jesus. See, for John, he stayed in the wilderness. He kept on preaching. They kept coming out. Uh -huh. He kept on preaching. Yeah, God. They kept coming out. Yeah. They may have been saying all this about it, but they, but they kept coming out. Yes. The frustration comes in is when you feel that they don't hear what you're trying to share with them. John was given a great message. Repent, because the kingdom is at hand. Yes, yes. It's that time. Yes. The Messiah is coming. Yes. Jesus, the Messiah is here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I came into my own, and my own received me mm. not. Jesus. Yes. Can you feel Jesus' yes. frustration in Luke 4 when he stands up in the synagogue? In his hometown, where he's grown up, and he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me yes. to preach the gospel to the poor, a uh, recovery of sight to the blind, mm -hmm. to proclaim the, the acceptable year of the Lord, and then they try to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 That's frustration. That's frustration. That's frustration. That's frustration. Yes. And frustration really comes when you're trying to, you know, you're doing all you can. What I'm doing, I'm trying to help you. Right. And that's when frustration, you know, sometimes you can say something and somebody, you know, don't take it or don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not maybe a big, big, big deal. But when you're doing all that you can do and what you're doing is going to benefit you and you need it. Yeah. 
That's when I think yeah. you can feel some frustration. Yeah, you become, from, yeah, yeah, you become concerned. concerned first, but how do you deal with it? How do you deal Ooh. with the frustration? How do you mm, that's deal good. That's with good. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. That's good stuff. We, we, we mm -hmm. ended some good stuff. Now, mm -hmm. I, 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 think, I think John and Jesus give us a great example. We continue to tell them. Continue to show them. Continue to instruct them. Continue to challenge them. Yeah, you get frustrated. But what I loved about John, and, and I, he only preached one sermon. That's it. So <laughs> it, it ain't like he had to go through the through the through the Jewish lexicon. Versus you. <laughs> right. One sermon. Every Sunday. Versus you. Yeah. You, you gotta come up every Sunday. Yeah, what's up? But then Jesus, he had to not only go to his own, but he would perform miracles. Mm -hmm. He would do all these, um, these, these, these signs and wonders for the people, and they still would not believe. They right. still mm -hmm. would not accept it. Right. They st it, so Jesus never stopped, even to giving his own life on the cross. That's, that's, an go, go that's a good go example. That's a good example. You, you, no, I just said that okay. Was a good no, I was gonna say, and uh, also since we're looking at the lesson and looking at the theme that mm. we're on, any time whether it frustrates us, make us angry, or whatever something happened, when it comes to dealing with it, that was a good question. When it comes to dealing with it, God. That's why we need God. Come on. Wisdom. wisdom. Amen. Godly wisdom, yeah. discernment, Come on. knowing how Ooh. to make the right decision, knowing yeah. how to say the right thing Ooh, at yes. the right time. Yes. That's Everything. how you deal with, with mm -hmm. the godly yes. wisdom yes. Right. 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 to handle it mm -hmm. the way God will be pleased That's with it. how you handle it. That's it. That's That's it. it. I like that. That was a good question. How do you deal with how it? Do you deal Use with the it? wisdom, the godly it wisdom that God has given it, you. It, it, will, it will take you all the way back to the wisdom. Mm -hmm. See, the book, uh -huh. of, the book of Proverbs is the book of wisdom. That's right. You know, instruction. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. But God only We've gives it, gives lesson. it, gives that wisdom to, you know, only to those that who honestly mm -hmm. seeks Him. That's it. That's you it. know, and if you don't have that wisdom, you're going to always make the wrong choices, and and your you intent, your intentions could be you well, are. Pastor, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, it can come out the wrong way, Definitely. but not meanly. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's why it's so important to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. Oh, definitely. And we need, we all need that. Wisdom. It says mm -hmm. wisdom is better than rubies. Mm -hmm. oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. I, and I, and, 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 and uh, mm -hmm. Paul told Timothy, if any man lacks wisdom, ask him. Amen. God. Ask God, God will give ask it to you. Yes. I, I, I think in the midst of the frustration, that's when God sends you back to the instruction. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, when you're dealing mm -hmm. with Amen. frustration, Amen. you got to go back to the instruction. Amen. Um, I, I like to, you know, uh, I, I, I use imagery. So it's just like somebody uh, get a bike. I can put the bike together, but don't look at the instructions. So they get the bike all together, but the bike don't work. So that's what they got to do now. They got to go oh, back to the instructions. So is something I missed? Is it something that I didn't see? Is it something that I did wrong? Yeah, I put other bikes together. Maybe this bike got something different. And so God gives us that instruction. And even, even when we look at Jesus, when we look at John, uh, it's e even Jesus. Jesus gave a different approach yes. when he dealt with Jews and when he dealt with Gentiles. It was a different approach. So sometimes we got to look at that instruction yeah, and go back. Because yeah, when we get the instruction, it alleviates the frustration. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Yes, That's sir. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. And how sir. you address it humbly. Yes, sir. Amen. Humbly Amen. with love. Amen. With love. <laughs> you know, if you don't have the love of God on the inside of you, it doesn't matter how you try to address the situation, it's not going to be humble. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you yeah. have to be humble. Right. You know, you have to be humble. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, and we all are going to uh, have and will, I believe, continue to deal with unexpected frustration. Yeah. But how do we deal with the frustration? Yeah. I can also pass the pudding where go back to our first love. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like you, you use for a, 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 a 
about the putting the bike together yeah, yeah, yeah. and not reading the instructions. That's it, that's it. And you know, and that's a lot of time how we will just go on our own. Mm -hmm. and, and, and only if we had a follow the instructions from the beginning, we wouldn't have to go through the process all back over again. That's it. That's we'd it. have to take it apart. We'd have to take it apart. <laughs> exactly. We wouldn't have to take it. That's, and that could be a, a cause for frustration too. too. And, 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 but sometimes I think that's the greatest learning too. Um, sometimes it becomes a part of the greatest learning. When you, how you handle frustration will determine if you will succeed or not. If you let frustration make you falter and make you give up, then you won't persevere. So sometimes these frustrations, and when we think about Jesus, he could have been frustrated. Jesus knew how to handle yeah. everybody because, because, of, who, because of who he is. Who he is. Well, and, and the spirit. Yeah. Uh, spirit. The spirit. I think that's Oh, definitely because of who he is. Yes. But the spirit of God that oh, rested in him yes. and giving that wisdom from so early age. Supernatural. 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 So God, he, he gives that to us. That's why it says we're greater than John. Mm -hmm. We got something that John didn't have. That's right. We got the Holy Spirit. Oh, the Holy Hallelujah. Spirit that yes. dwells. Well, in, in us. Yes, in well. Don't dwell on us. Hallelujah. It dwells in, in, us. in us. And by it dwelling in us. When we speak of, and, and with frustration, it'll come out of us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, think oh, before we speak, we can go to, in the book of James, he speaks about the tongue. Oh, mm. You know, words are very hurtful. Yes. You know, because once you put it out there, uh -huh. you can't take it back. Mm -hmm. It's like a two headed sword, mm -hmm. that word. That's right. So, wisdom is. It's everything. Mm -hmm. It is. It's everything. Seek wisdom. Always. Pray yes. to God. Seek you. Ask God for wisdom. Right. You know, and I does because I know that we need that right. God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, because if not, we're going to not be able to deal with frustration mm -hmm. as well as nothing else. Amen. Right. Nothing else. Right. Nothing uh -huh. else. And so right. it is. It is important. It is. I couldn't understand that. We're going to go on to the next lesson, but. Uh, back in 2000, you know, when I first, you know, I got called into the ministry, mm -hmm. and I didn't know anything about it. All I know that, you know, that Jesus was real. So I'm reading the Bible, and uh, and uh, me not knowing, you know, it's like I'm going into the Bible. You know, I had the pastor had to gave me the date of me coming up doing my first trial sermon. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing my study, and I'm drinking gallons of water. I could understand, but I'm I'm doing my studying. But everywhere that I would go in the Bible and read. For some odd reason, when I wasn't comprehending what was going on at that particular time, it kept putting me back to the book. I kept finding myself back in the book of Proverbs. Mm. Back in the book of Proverbs. But to make a long story Which short, story? that is where Which my first story? sermon came from. Mm. And then afterwards, I'm continuing. I'm reading my Bible, studying something to show self approval, mm. but I'm constantly in the back up in the book of Proverbs. And I begin to like, Lord, why? Are you keeping me in the book of Proverbs? He said, because you need to know about wisdom. That's Hallelujah. God and that's why I know about the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. God God spoke that to me. You know, gave me a revelation of wisdom. Ex exactly, mm -hmm. that I need that wisdom. Good. And that's why I know what I know on today. Yeah. And he knew that I was needed, going to be needing that wisdom mm -hmm. to go forth and, you know, what he had called me to do. Amen. Amen. And see, when you live in a relationship with God, mm, He good. knows exactly what you need. Oh, yeah. And He gives you. Yes. That's a good illustration of it. Mm. He gives you what you need. That's it. And as time goes by, you're going to need some more. Jesus. You're going to need some oh, more and or more. greater. That's right. Yeah. He so you grow. Yeah. Oh, that's you it. grow in wisdom. Mm. That's good. Yeah. And, and, you know, many times when we think of, or we, we say the scripture, but we don't think of it in, in terms of wisdom. I always say, uh, sometimes we think of more tangible versus the intangible things that God gives us. God shall supply all of our needs according to all his riches, riches in yeah. glory. See, many times we think that that's just material, but mm -hmm. wisdom is what God gives. Grace is what God gives. Yes, Mercy is. Yes. is what God gives. His love is what he gives. Understanding yes. is what he gives. And then those things that God deposits, he ah. gives those to us. He gives those to us from his riches yes. and glory. What we need, he gives us. We would not want that. He gives us what we 
want all of that to be done. You know what I mean? Amen. 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 Now, you know, now if 14, I have this verse here, verse 14. And if you are willing to accept what I say, he is Elijah, the one, the prophet said, who would come? But, but it's John. That's verse 14. And I read it out of the NLT version. Mm -hmm. Was John not a resurrection of Elijah? Uh, he was the he had the same spirit of Elijah. Let's put it that way. Uh he had uh he had the same spirit. The prophecy was that Elijah would come back. Mm -hmm. Um and and that's what Jesus was trying to reveal to them. Um, if you look at the ministry of John, you can see the ministry of Elijah, of one being in the wilderness. All of Elijah's ministry happened in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. ah, so see, one okay. was compared, to Com compare one with the, the other. other. Right. Yeah. So, so. That's why Jesus said, ah, and if you're willing to accept what I say, he is Elijah, the one who the prophet said would come. Anyone with ears to hear, should he listen and understand. So many times, like in the biblical day, the people were actually looking for mm -hmm. Elijah to come back. Though none of them had ever seen him and wouldn't know what he looked like if he had showed up. He said, listen, <laughs> right. So listen. Jesus was explaining John the Baptist is the ministry of it's Elijah. Ministry. His ministry it's is the, the ministry of Elijah. So, so, so now, so um, John was not a resurrection Elijah, mm -hmm. but he took on Elijah's prophetic role, boldly confronting and and con confronting the sinners and pointing them to God. Mm -hmm. So. This is why they was could probably maybe was thinking that he was Elijah because they had a lot of Well they they the just people. they just wanted to see what John the Baptist was doing. So they it, it, John the Baptist being a man out in the wilderness preaching one message, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So it's drawing their attention to him. They're leaving the city to come out to see see what John is doing. What is he talking about? Why is he out here? And what Jesus is sharing with them is that when you went out there, what did you go to see? Yes, 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 yes. What did yeah. you go to what did you go to look? What was you going was to look you, for? You did you expecting? hear what he was saying? Yes. You went, but did you receive? Did you receive? what was you expecting? Mm -hmm. What did you expect? And so and, and, and this is very key too of what, what Jesus and, and this is the key of wisdom in this lesson because it's an undergird. Don't allow your expectation to make you miss revelation. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. What you expect. Don't let your, yeah. Yeah, your expectation to miss revelation. Revelation. See, the expectation was it, it's supposed to be like this. Right. The Messiah, the, uh, right. the, the right. they're supposed to be like Elijah, do all, all these miracles and John is just preaching in the wilderness. Right. Uh, the Messiah, he should be coming on a white horse to bring in the kingdom of Jerusalem like the kingdom of David. So they had an expectation. But the expectation missed the revelation. The revelation is who they were. John was Elijah. Jesus was the Messiah. They met. Just think if you were living in the time of Jesus oh and John, God. you were there and you missed it. I See, we're looking you. back. Mm -hmm. We're looking at them like they're crazy. <laughs> that's because, <laughs> because, we know. because we know. That's because we know. But if we was living at that time, right. we might just we be, be like all of them. Bunch with them. The, you know, there we go. There we expecting. go. Expecting. Expecting. And missing out on the revelation. And missing the revelation. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Amen. Good point. Amen. Yeah. And there's a lot of more on that <laughs> with, with, with the John um, uh, being, you know, uh, Elijah being uh, John coming back in, in, in resurrection. There's a lot more to, in, you know, uh, 
reading up on that like in the word I read a lot of it on there mm -hmm. you know in that because it was really it was a lot it's a lot to this here you yeah. know yeah. and it says listen yeah. and hear mm -hmm. you know have a hearing ear mm -hmm. you know because it's so important it has to go through the Bible study right? yeah yeah that goes in. yeah that <laughs> goes have, to a whole we have, don't we don't uh, we have yeah. we have some Sunday school lessons sometimes I say the same thing mm -hmm. uh, we have a we need a Bible study on this. Oh, it's definitely. a lot. Oh, it is. It is. A lot of it. Good. I know Pastor do great with it. Good reading. Yes. And, and, good. I, and I would say to this, if you if you really hear what Jesus is saying, it's the prophecy echo. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. He was saying it to the people of Jerusalem, but in Revelation, he says it to the church. So mm -hmm. he still speaks to his people to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. Um, and I think that's good. I think yeah, that's, but that's good. for today too. That applies to us today. Yes, and, and the yeah. churches today. You know, yes. pray to God for <laughs> yeah. you to receive yeah. what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Is because mm -hmm. there's many types of different spirits, and then you can have the force of Satan speaking to you too. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we need to know the difference. Wait, you, you can have the voice of Satan speaking, but when you got the Holy Spirit, it discerns it, yeah. and that's the key. Well, for the ones that don't, pass. The, but for the ones that don't, they're not going to receive it nowhere. <laughs> You have a hearing ear to receive what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to you. This is what he, the Lord is saying. Pray to for that. They have a hearing ear. We have a hearing ear to receive what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. The Spirit of the Lord is saying is what the Word is saying, what the Bible mm -hmm. is saying, what you're saying, repent. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when, 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 when the Holy Spirit is what opens you up to receive, if you, if you allow the Holy Spirit uh, to give you the ability to receive, what God is doing and what God is saying, that goes back to that point, you'll get the revelation. But if you don't hear, nor do you see what God is doing, you're going to miss what God is doing and you're going to miss what God is saying. Mm -hmm. uh, that has no reflection on your spirituality. It's just that you have not received the Holy Spirit. And what, so if by you not receiving it, there cannot be a change. The Holy Spirit is the only thing that gives change. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the only thing that gives change. Amen. Uh, the liberating lesson in, in the book, it says, Christ's declaration that the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John the Baptist ought to fill us with hope and confidence. If John was the greatest of those born of a woman, as we are all born, how much greater are we with the indwelling Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit? Right back to where we said. With this in mind, the battle against sin becomes one that we are readily equipped for when despair and frustration attacks us in the journey of this Christian life. We must remember these words of Jesus and the fact that that even he had discouraging moments in his ministry. Yes. But as in his case, yes. wisdom is justified by her deeds. And so also your vindication will come. Continue to fight on. Continue to fight on. Amen. That's encouragement. Exactly. It's an encouragement. And on 16, this is so important here. It says, to what can I compare this generation it is like children playing a game at the public square. They complain to their friends. Jesus is condemning the attitudes of his generation. No matter what he said or did, they took the opposite view. And there are so many of us like that on today. This is verse 16 here. It says they were cynical and skeptical because he challenged their comfortable, secure, and self-centered lives. It sometimes, Pastor, it does not matter what you do, teacher, or how you do it. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get the approval, the stamp approval. You know, someone's going to always complain. have something to say, always yeah. complain. That's why you don't, you, I, for me, I never seek people's approval. You, ha! <laughs> Uh, and really, and you have to, you can't. You got you, you got to know what Jesus. God has told you to do. You have to stand on what God has shared with you, and that's where our approval as believers come from. 
they come from God. And that's how that's, you know. But, yeah. a, but a lot of times there are many that try to prove people, but to say that you can't be a people pleaser and please mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. It's all about, you know, keeping God pleasing. Right. You're not going to be able to, you know, um, um, uh, you can't please everybody and, and you're not going to be accepted by everybody. And if Jesus was not, was rejected, what do we think of us? Oh, you know, definitely. we just have to continue to do like uh, what uh, John the Baptist did. Mm -hmm. Preach and teach the word of repentance. Mm -hmm. You That's know, it. the coming of the Lord. That's you know, it. like that sentence said, you know, fight on. Yes. Fight on. You have a ministry, you know your ministry, yeah. and you are to fulfill your Absolutely. ministry according to the will of God. Absolutely. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's, that's the bottom good. line. That's, that's good. That's, uh, you fight on. That's pretty much it. With the closing, if I may just close out on this Go here. Ahead. If you've done everything else, this is like verse 18 and 19. It says, they rejected John the Baptist who came as a recluse living in the wilderness, preaching repentance and without social inter interaction. But not only, once again, they rejected John the Baptist, they also rejected Jesus who lived among them. He had social interactions with everyone and they said John had a devil in him. Mm -hmm. People can label you so quick, fast, and hurt. You know, and they said while Jesus was a gluten and a drunk in the King James Version, the wine barber who ate with publicans, sinners criticized one for one action and criticized the other for the opposition action in reflects of life of wisdom. God wants his people to be wise. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. I think, I Amen. think this lesson helps us to understand uh, what God views wisdom as. As we look at look at the wisdom um, and recognize that when we when we do it God's way, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about your vindication. Because oh, wisdom will be the vindicator. And vengeance is mine, oh, saith the, the Lord. Lord. So we don't have to worry about getting at people, you, getting God. even with people. You, Jesus, uh -huh. Jesus, yeah, Jesus was saying, you didn't accept John and you didn't accept, and you didn't accept me either. Right. So John, he didn't do anything and right. I did everything. I absolutely. <laughs> so John absolutely. hung out in the wilderness. I hung out in the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Praise so, the Lord. So Praise God, God. God, I think Jesus is letting us see that no matter what God gives us to do, that as long as we do it to the best of our ability, do it in faithfulness to God's, to God's word, word. Yes. in faithfulness unto God, serve him with our whole heart, yes, mind, soul, and strength, and he'll get the glory. Amen. He'll get the honor. Amen. At the end of the day. That's right. Amen. Review our own behavior to determine whether it reflects God. That's it. That's it. Amen. And that's an ongoing, Absolutely. every day. Every day. That last part of the aim for change always give us something to do. Look at yourself. Self. You talk about what's going on here with somebody else and whatnot, mm -hmm. but review yeah. your own. As, a, as the way you guys would say, sweep around, around your own your front door. Scuff. Front door. Uh -huh. you clean around my. <laughs> clean yeah. 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 Before you sweep around And lines. be encouraged. Amen. Because Amen. people are going to expect something out of you, Pastor, that huh. you may not even supposed to give. That's right. Be, be, be encouraged. Yeah. I, I was be sharing. Be encouraged. I have, uh, when I do wedding counseling, I always ask the bride and groom, what is your expectation of your wife, what is your expectation of your husband? Because what wow. you expect may not be what wow. you get. <laughs> and sometimes, if the other person never hears it, they never know what expectations Absolutely. are pressed upon it's them. Absolutely, before they even get Absolutely. married. Absolutely, that is so true. Yeah, and we all come with expectations. Yes, sir. We I all come it. with expectations, but we got to trust God. We trust God and because our God. expectations might not be what we That's should it. be expecting. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Amen. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed our Sunday school. Amen. This has been a good time in sharing. Time. Yes. Let's have us a word of prayer. God, we thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being our vindicated wisdom. Vindicated us, Lord. Allow us to pursue wisdom. 
yes. to seek wisdom, yes. to gain wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Yes, sir. Knowledge to know how, understanding of why, and the wisdom to use it correctly. Yes. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank, thank you for, you for our teacher. Amen. We thank you. We thank bless you for bless Lord, Lord. Reverend Croft, that you just continue bless to bless her. her. And Sister Carter, continue to keep us. Yes. God, bless our Sunday school class to enjoy and to engage this fruitful dialogue that we have. Yes. May it bring up something in their house oh, as they God. talk about yes. wisdom being a vindicator. Yes, God. Bless us now in Bless Jesus, us name. Now. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.